I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the pocket tripod by Geometrical that I've been testing for the past two weeks. It's about the thickness of two credit cards, and it can help your phone stand up when you're viewing and using it. So let's dive in and check out every single little detail. All right, so right here in my hands here, I have the Pocket Tripod Pro, a couple wallets to show you how it fits in on this side, and then some other solutions on this side that I'll just talk about. So I'm just gonna kind of put these off to the side for now and get right into the Pocket Tripod Pro. So first of all, you can see it's basically the thickness of two credit cards, which is nice. It's pretty low profile and fits in most wallets. So just to show you, We've got a Hyperlite wallet here, Bellroy wallet, and the Pioneer Molecule wallet. So fits right in like that pretty nicely. Really not a ton to say. Inside of the Apex here also fits in pretty nicely. Does take up the space of about two credit cards. And then I've got this Hyperlite wallet here just to show you how this can fit in as well. So pretty good in wallets. I have heard of some people having it not fit in. Also, you can see that based on the kind of size of it, these little edges can get stuck on the inside of some wallets. So just note that. Fits pretty well in wallets though, but yeah, I have heard that not everyone has it fit into their wallet. Now, I wanted to pull out the packaging for this one too, because I think they give you a really interesting little kit. So if we open it up, they give you some instructions on how to use it. And then a really cool thing here is that they give you a card to measure your phone with, you can see. So you can decide what size of insert to put onto the card before you install it, which is cool. So these are a bit tricky to install. It took us a couple tries to get them in, but this size fits my iPhone 12 Max very well. And then yeah, there's like instructions on here too, which I'll just go through uh, visually just with the card itself. But they do give you a couple extra inserts and then they also give you, if an insert doesn't work, they give you a code for one, uh, which is kind of cool as well. So there we go. Just gonna set this off to the side for now. And then yeah, taking a look at the actual mechanism itself, basically what you do to get it into tripod mode is you twist it around in an, uh, 180 degrees and then you tilt these up. And then that creates a little kickstand for you. Just give you like a better look at it. And it's awesome that that works. You can slide this in. Let me just give you like a better view here. So, and it actually grips it quite well, which is nice. So you can see here that it grips quite well. If I go down further, since I have the max size iPhone, there is a point eventually where it falls over like that, but overall it's pretty good. And now one of the things about this at the bottom here, especially with these new phones, I think the design might be outdated a little bit on the pocket tripod because it sort of blocks this bottom part. And a lot of, at least iPhones, you can swipe up at the bottom. So just note that. Um, and then there's like another notifications blown up. All right, here's like another thing too that's interesting is you can actually tilt this. I'm just gonna put these down. You can actually put this into like a 90 degree angle mode and this will pull out on the side there. So what this does is enables you to have like two separate kickstands and then use this in landscape mode here. So there we go. If I wanna stick it in landscape mode, I can totally do that and tilt this down too to get view, to, to view it. And one thing that this does too is it lets you get these little pieces to the edges of the phone, which is nice, so that you can kind of get that out of the way of the screen. Again, it's not perfect. Like you can see how on the sides here, like it still is coming in somewhat, but it does help a little bit just due to the screen and the, the, the screen going pretty much all the way to the edge. All right, now I'm gonna put this back together. At first, this was a little bit tricky to get back together, but it is easy if you just set it <laughs> like this and twist it back. There we go. Now, one of the things that I've run into too while twisting this is it really easily comes out at that 90. So with very little pressure, I can pull that out. And that just kind of makes me feel like I'm gonna break it. 
like they do say that there's carbon fiber used on the legs here for extra security, but overall, I mean, it just feels kind of like not good, even though it's slick. And this is when I want to bring in some of these other options on the side here. So this is from Peak Design. It is made out of metal, some kind of metal, which is great, but that folds out. It gives you a little tripod there. Now you do need to use their system, but it's attached via magnet here. And this thing just feels solid compared to the pocket tripod, which feels like kind of plasticky. And again, like maybe I'm going to break it. So that's metal and that's quite a bit different. Now the Night Eyes Quick Stand is another option at a fraction of the price that's a little bit smaller and I think still does the same thing very well. So whereas the pocket tripod twists, which is awesome engineering by the way, the Night Eyes kind of, you pull this metal part out, tilt it up, put this top part up like that, and then you basically got a similar setup except the tab at the bottom kind of blocks still, but it's a little bit less as well. And this is considerably cheaper than the pocket tripod as well. So definitely worth checking this out. We love this at Pack Hacker. It's made it into a lot of different lists and uh, it's a really great option if you're looking for something less expensive than the pocket tripod and smaller and uh, possibly lighter. I don't know. We have the weights of both of these over on our website, so go check that out if you're curious. And then if you want something like a little bit more robust and that you can kind of angle around, there's always the Joby Gorilla Pods. So that will stick in here. That gives you like a pretty solid attachment too. And then you can set this up tripod style. So that's a bit of a different, bit of a different use case, but I still think it falls into this same family of products. So there you have it, the Pocket Tripod Pro by Geometrical. Head over to packhacker.com for the full review, including photos. Link down in the description below. We'll see you in the next video.